Let's say you have a friend, girlfriend, wife, or one night fling. You pissed her off, or you didn't do anything at all. Guess what, she can ruin your life with this unfair justice system. Reality is really bad. If she falsely accuses you of a crime like a rape or sexual assault, police will be working one-sided as well as CPS. Hold on, don't get excited, it will be her side, not yours. Why? Because they need to have better statistics on their side. You are just another number for them. You might say, I am innocent, the truth would come. Well, it doesn't work like that. They have a guideline that makes it harder to prove innocent. Guideline says, prosecutors must not resort to using myths and stereotypes once associated with victims of rape and domestic abuse. These include, victims always physically resist and fight off their attacker, victims always receive injuries, victims provoke, invite offenses because of the way they act and dress or because they have consumed alcohol or drugs, victims report the crime as soon as possible, victims always recall events consistently, and victims always get away from their attacker as quickly as possible. Shortly, it is tough to prove your innocence. Police and CPS know this, and they will do anything to make you look worse. If you call a woman a liar, even if you didn't do, you're guilty of calling a woman a liar, so there's no way out. If you don't deny it, you're thought to be guilty. If you do deny it, you've committed an additional political sin, so it's a trap. And it feels just horrible. They either assume your guilt or they assume you shouldn't be asserting your innocence. Remember, the law will be on her side. They might arrest you. You will be scared and shocked. They will take your mobile phone and laptop if necessary. Most likely, you won't get them back for a long time. Oh, this is just the beginning. You might be charged and wait for a court date, or you might be released for further investigation. This will take for a few years. You will be scared and worried about this period. You won't be able to make a plan for your future, every moment of your life will think what if police knocks your door or what if you go to prison? What about innocent until proven guilty? Forget about it, that is on paper only, in practice it is like guilty whether you are innocent or not. If you get charged, things will get worse for you. Like your name and address would publish before even trial starts. You don't have any law to protect your identity. It doesn't matter if you found guilty or not. Once identity published, most likely, you will lose your job, house, friends, etc. If you have kids, well, you won't be allowed to see them anymore. Because you are innocent, risk. How can I prove if I am innocent? Well, you have almost no chance. If you go to prison, the worst part will be waiting for you. Some of the people mentally damaged, some of them killed themselves. We call this system, miscarriage of justice. Thank you for watching it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.